All right, so we've gone through surgery and now our pet's coming home. So what does the recovery look like from an MPL surgery? So the MPL surgery, the recovery is broken down into three basic periods. So you have your first two weeks, which is gonna be the incision healing period. You have your first eight weeks, so weeks two to eight, where we have our bone healing and scar tissue, our strengthening of our repair period of time. And then from weeks eight to about 12 or 14, we have a rehabilitation phase. So let's look at each one of those individually. So the first two weeks when your pet comes home from the hospital, we don't expect them to be putting too much weight on their leg, if any. We do recommend the use of a sling to help support your pet's weight during this time period. This isn't to actually hold any weight, it's just to be there as you're going outside, as you're going across the harbor floor, to make sure that your dog's not slipping or falling, those types of things. During that time period, they're going to have to wear the terrible cone of shame or the e-collar to prevent them from licking. Now we all hate the e-collar, but unfortunately it is the best thing that we have available to us to prevent them from licking. So I highly recommend keeping that on at all times. They'll be confined into a single room in the house with no running, jumping, or playing. And they're only going to be going outside for, for bathroom breaks two to three times a day for five to ten minutes. So really it's bed rest. Go outside, potty, back in, rest. They're usually on medications during the first two weeks. So I usually tell people that these first two weeks are going to be the hardest. Of the first two weeks, usually the first three to five days are the hardest just because you are trying to transition them into a new routine. You're giving them more medications and it's just a challenging period. At the two week mark, we do have you come back in for an incision check. So at that point, we're gonna look at the incision and confirm that everything is healed appropriately. Assuming that it has, then the cone of shame should be able to go away at that point and we should be able to resume normal bathing. Unfortunately, we are still on that same level of in-home confinement for that full first eight weeks. So single room, no running, jumping, or playing, limited use of stairs. However, during weeks two to four, you can start to bring them outside on longer leash walks. So we're gonna to start to have rehabilitation leash walks, meaning that, again, weeks two to four, we can go on 10 minute leash walks two to three times a day. Weeks four to six, we can go on 15 minute leash walks. And then weeks six to eight, we can actually go on 20 minute leash walks. So they are still getting to work their muscles. They are still getting to work their mind but in a very controlled setting where they're always on leash, no running, jumping, or playing. We use this as a form of rehab to prevent muscle atrophy, to keep range of motion of the joints. So it is important that they do get leash walks during that first eight weeks. At the eight week mark, we have you come back into the clinic one more time and take x-rays. At that point, everything should be healed to um, enough strength to where we're not gonna have a problem with the surgery. So we're gonna confirm that radiographically or with x-rays. Assuming that everything looks good on x-rays, then we are done with our in-home confinement, meaning that we can move about the house normally with no restrictions. We can use stairs at that point because again, our surgical site is healed, but we've taken a professional athlete that every single dog is. They do things you and I could never dream of doing, right? Uh, they jump onto tabletops three times their height. They run from a laying position, these types of things. So if we turn them loose at the eight week mark and let them go to the dog park, they're gonna pull something else. They're gonna stretch a ligament. Those types of problems could arise. So we do recommend another four to six weeks of progressive activity. Of that, the first couple weeks is gonna be progressive on-leash activity. So unlimited amounts of on-leash activity that your dog can tolerate. We don't wanna push them too hard to where they're overexhausted, but whatever they can tolerate, they can go on at this point. Somewhere in that two to four week range, if they're doing really well, you can transition them into controlled off-leash activity. So this would be in an area where there's a fence. So no other dogs to play with, a yard, um, some sort of confined area where you still have control. But you wanna just kind of test them and work them up um, to their natural level of activity. So again, that's for two to four weeks. And then at that point, as long as they're doing well, they should be able to go back to normal activity. So back to their regular routine. We don't recommend or we don't um, insist on having a final recheck at that time point. You certainly can schedule one if you just like to make sure that they're doing well before returning to normal. But usually the eight week um, 
radiograph recheck is the last time we see you back, assuming everything's going well. So that's the rehabilitation period for post-operative MPL surgery. Thank you so much for your time.